Hi guys, so today I've got a massive clothing haul. Basically, I've got a whole rail of clothes that are new. I sold the majority of my old clothes because if you didn't know, I lost a lot of weight. I feel like I talk about this way too much. It's like a yawn fest now, but I lost a lot of weight. I was still wearing the same type of clothes that I wore when I was bigger, which always made me feel like I was bigger and I do have a lot of issues anyway with still feeling as big as I was in general. The clothes weren't helping me if that makes sense so I decided to ditch them all, send them off to better homes and I hope everybody is loving everything that they've bought and I thought I would update my wardrobe with stuff that I want to wear now because my style has changed a lot and like I was always looking at people like, oh, I wish I could wear that, but like it wouldn't suit me. And I just thought, you know what, sod it. I'm gonna try things. And if they don't suit me, then fine. They can get sent back. They might suit me, like I've never tried them on before. So I can't sit and say that they don't look nice if I haven't even tried them. So I bought a lot of stuff. A lot of it's from ASOS. There's a lot of Topshop. The majority of it is High Street. In fact, all of it is High Street. So I'm gonna get cracking. <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this yet. See, I was thinking, if I held stuff up like that, you might not be able to see it. So what if I just like stood up and spoke to you and held them up like that? Does that make sense? <laughs> Let's try it this way first. Also, my expo exposure is gonna go crazy with the dark clothes, but hey-ho. The first thing I got was from Urban Outfitters. This is a little crop jumper that says chaos on it. And I'm loving like cropped things right now. I've just got my stomach to a place where I actually don't mind showing it. So I thought, you know what? Why not? So this is a little bit cropped and it's just nice to throw on on the days where I maybe just have somewhere to run, I don't want to look that nice, I can just put jeans on and this top and there's something a little bit funky about it. The next thing I've got is this jumper from Topshop. This is just a really pretty pink shade, definitely the shade that I'm wearing right now. I've got a thing for this shade of pink right now, it's like a dusky pink, not too bright. But this jumper is again in a kind of cropped style, it's a little bit longer at the back and it's just really flattering although the one thing I don't like about it is that the sleeves don't get tighter as they go down your arm they just kind of stay the same which is fine but I like to like ruche my sleeves up sometimes if I'm too hot and you can't do that but aside from that I really love this jumper I will link everything I can find in the down bar by the way the next top is also from Topshop and you guys have been seeing me wearing this if you follow me on Snapchat. <laughs> I've been wearing this with my choker and people have been saying I look like freaking Cinderella. <laughs> I will take that compliment. But this is again kind of, it's not cropped, it's, I'd say it's like a three quarter length top because it doesn't show any of your stomach but it also doesn't cover like your hips and your bum. This is super nice though, it's just a really flowy top, it's got sleeves that reach just a, a little bit above your elbow and it's really really flattering and I wear this just tucked into some high-waisted trousers or even just with jeans it looks really pretty. The next top I have is also from Topshop and this is again not a full length top it doesn't show any of your stomach though I'd say it's like a three-quarter length one again and it's got this really pretty I don't know if this is lace or embroidery but it's just got a really pretty pattern the top of it is opaque and then it's got shoulders that are like off the shoulder and they're see-through and it's honestly the cutest little top. It's so pretty to wear with a choker or just with a really nice necklace, like a kind of short one. Onto a top that I'm bloody obsessed with. I went into Topshop on Oxford Street and they've got this vintage section downstairs which I've never been in before. I always thought that was way too cool for me. But I decided to just go in and I've been looking for like a cropped black top that has a bit of interest to it for ages. I didn't just want like a normal cropped black top. I wanted something different, but I just couldn't find it until I saw this. So this is absolutely stunning. It's got three quarter length sleeves and it's got these gorgeous tassels and it is a, crop, a cropped fit, just like everything I'm mentioning. And it's got buttons on the top. I'm not sure what brand this is, they've taken the brand label out and they've also taken the size out. So I didn't know what size this was at all. I just looked at it and I was like, hmm, that looks like a 12 to 14 and I'm a size 12. So I thought, okay, this could fit me and look really nice or it could look a little bit too big, but I risked it anyway. I got it home and tried it on and I love it so much. I'm so happy that I picked this up. So definitely go and check out the vintage section in the Oxford Street store if you're in London. Oh my God, the next jumper I found next to the vintage section. 
in Topshop. This comes in one size and it's once again a cropped jumper. But this has got these sleeves that are incredible. I love them. They remind me of a lemon meringue pie and I don't actually know why because lemon meringue pies don't look like this. <laughs> but it's got these sleeves that have just got tears to them and when you've got it on it looks so funky. I love this jumper with all my heart. I want to wear it every day forever. Bury me in this jumper. Oh, another jumper that I got is also from Topshop. Oh my god, this is not a Topshop haul. This has got cat fur all over it, but this is just a velvet jumper. It's like in a boyfriend style, so it's kind of baggier. It's a lot less flattering, but I just thought this would be nice to lounge around in. I've got another velvet piece, but this one was from River Island. This is slightly shorter. It's not cropped. It's like that three-quarter length. My lighting, my lighting. <laughs> so, this is like a three-quarter length, and at the bottom, it's got this mesh bit and it's velvet it's got three quarter length sleeves I would just wear this with some jeans it looks really cool it's a nice way to like wear a, an all black outfit but add some texture to it onto something that I got from ASOS this is by the Ragged Priest and I just really liked this I thought it would look nice under my dungarees if I was going for a little bit more of a badass day <laughs> if that makes sense you know some days you just wake up and you're like make me emo <laughs> this is one of them days so it's this striped black top and it says doomed on it in red and it's massively oversized. But as I said, this with a black pair of dungarees just like tucked into them would look super duper cute. And that is for my badass day. The next top is the same as the blue one, just in cream. I thought I would add this in as well. This just looks really pretty with trousers again or even just with dungarees. I got a top from ASOS which I'm actually not that keen on so I don't think it's very flattering. But I am going to be working out a lot more and like getting my arms all toned and nice so I thought I would keep it anyway. This is this cropped top and it's got really really tight sleeves which is why I don't personally love it on me. But it's got this like rugged turtleneck and I really like that element of it so I thought you know what I'll keep it. If I don't like it, I can always give it to a friend or something. But I could end up really liking it when I'm a little bit more toned. Something from Zara that I bought. I bought this to go with a pair of pink trousers that I'll show you in a minute. It's just this top here. It's got kind of a little v-neck and a leopard print pocket. And the reason I really, really liked this is... It kind of reminded me of Kate Moss. Not sure why, but you know how she just throws things on and looks so cool? Well, this to me, I feel like with a pair of trousers that I've got, if I just threw it on, tucked half of it in, left half of it out, put some like loafers on or something, this would look really sick. So I got this. Another top that I got was from Topshop and I got this in a size bigger. I got it in a 14. This is my Harry Styles top. I just saw this and I was like, oh my god, that reminds me so much of Harry Styles. So it's got this like check pattern on and then it's just got red hearts on and shortish sleeves. This looks really cute with dungarees. I do think it makes me look a little bit butch. <laughs> But you know what? Some days you got to embrace that vibe. So this is for my butch days. I've got my emo days, my butch days, my androgynous days, my girly days, and my full-on gothic days. <laughs> got to keep it spicy. <laughs> the next things are going to be a little bit harder to show you, so I'm hoping that them close-ups and try-ons came through. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So the first thing that I got is from ASOS. These are adorable. A little dungaree set with tiny little straps and then the bottom of them are like wide leg trouserish but these are in denim and my mum actually had to turn them up because they're supposed to be like culotte style but on me I'm sure they came like full length so we actually had to turn them up a bit but these are absolutely adorable and I love I think it's like a matte worn brass fuller of the um, clips and stuff. I love these dungarees so much. I honestly think they're so cute. But I don't know what top to wear with them, so if you have any recommendations, let me know. The next thing is a pair of trousers from Topshop. The colour of these is what caught my eye, and the fabric. They're like a satiny fabric, and the colour of them is like 
an olive green. These are absolutely beautiful. I think they're called cigarette trousers where they kind of hug your leg as they go down but they're not like skinny jeans type of hug. These are gorgeous trousers though. I also don't have a top to wear with these right now because I feel like this colour is kind of awkward to pair with things. I'm thinking maybe a cream top. White does not go with them. Either cream or black but I need to figure that out. <laughs> I then got this jumpsuit from ASOS which is actually an off the shoulder jumpsuit. So so this just goes off your shoulders and then, as I said, it goes into a jumpsuit with trousers and stuff. This isn't the most flattering jumpsuit that I've ever owned, but I feel like it's nice enough to wear, if that makes sense. I think it's more of a night out outfit because to me it looks better with heels. It just doesn't go in at my waist and my waist is like my smallest part, so if it did that it would be perfect and I might actually get it tailored to do that because I love the rest of it. So. I will update you if I do that. These are the pink trousers that I was talking about earlier with that leopard pocket top. These are from Zara and the top of them is gorgeous. I love the like ruching at the top and they've just got this little tie that you can tie in a bow when you've got them on. These are super duper flattering. They're really, really wide legged and they're probably the only pair of trousers that, are, that I own that are wide legged now, but they're also culottes. Culottes aren't too flattering on me but I feel like I can get away with them basically I am quite short I'm five foot three so if I wear culottes I feel like it kind of cuts my leg off at a weird point but also is kind of flattering I'm torn but I really like them trousers the next pair of trousers I got in a size too big so I need to go return these and get a size smaller but these are some satin black ones from River Island. These would be so flattering if they were in my size, but they're not and they kind of make me look like a bin bag. I love the trousers anyway, they're just like cigarette kind of trousers again. And they're in this softest, silky fabric. Oh, I also got these trousers which I love. These were from ASOS. And they've got that like paper bag look to the top of them, where once you've tied it, they kind of like tie and then go out and look like the top of a, of a paper bag. These are adorable. They're in a black like matte fabric. They may, might be cotton actually and they've got a little turn up on the legs but these are so flattering. I want to live in them and that jumper but not together because they look terrible together. On to the last three things that are clothes wear. I've also got two pairs of shoes, no three pairs to show you. First of all I've got this jacket. Now, some of you will love this, some of you will absolutely loathe this with every fibre of your body. My dad hates it, my mum loves it, I love it, I think it's really cool. It reminds me of Rosie Fortescue in Made in Chelsea. She always wears really funky faux fur jackets. But this was from Marks and Spencers and it's kind of like a camo faux fur jacket. I feel like Bunny, Graveyard Girl, would love this. I think it's really swanky. Can't wait to wear that when it gets colder. I've also got this jacket, which is gorgeous. It's from Topshop and it's a really, really cool toned, light silver shade. Again, it's just a faux fur jacket. It's stunning. I just want the cold weather so bad so I can wear these. I think they're amazing. I'm such a coat person. If I ever brought out a range of anything, it would be coats, anything clothes wear. <laughs> Ooh, my last coat my mum actually bought for me because she made me try it on in Marks and Spencers when we were walking through and I tried it on and then she was like I love that I was like I cannot buy another coat so she very kindly bought it for me so thank you so much mum because I really do love it it's this kind of I don't know what style this is but it reminds me of like posh Chelsea people it's in a navy blue it's got these lovely buttons on that are very British, I feel like watch it be not British at all. And it just kind of goes uh, just above your knee, it's a really really pretty coat and it's super flattering. I would recommend honestly going to check that one out if you need a winter coat because it's so nice. On to shoes. <laughs> so the first pair of shoes that I've been wearing non-stop are these ones from Topshop. They're kind of half brogues slash loafers, I don't know the style for this but they've got a missing heel so they've been perfect towards the end of summer when I don't want to wear sandals but I do want to like have a little bit of air to my feet. They're really comfy, gave me terrible blisters the first time I wore them but now they're fine and I like them so much that I also got them in leopard print. Now these leopard print ones have got that horse hair, it's not actual horse hair, I think that's just the term for it. They've got gold hardware and they're so pretty and I can't wait to wear these ones. 
And then the last pair of shoes that I've got are from ASOS. And they just buckle up on the side, but the front of them looks like this. I've got a pointy toe, they go across your foot and they've got this heely bit. These gave me terrible blisters and I'm so scared to wear them again. But obviously I'm gonna wear them again, but I'm really scared too. I need to put blister plasters literally all over my foot because they hacked my feet apart. Apart from that, they're gorgeous. Oh my God, I almost forgot the top that I'm wearing. This is from ASOS. It's, it's like a silky top with sleeves that just go a little bit wider, like that, like a snow angel. This is very booby and a little bit stomachy, but I feel like it's the perfect top for a night out. If you didn't want to wear a dress or a jumpsuit or a skirt, and you just wanted to wear jeans and spice it up and wear some heels, but still look like you've like made an effort and dressed up. I feel like this is the perfect top for that. So that is the end of my massive clothing haul. Let me know in the comments what is your favourite item and which one you would buy. Also, as I've said, I will link everything that I can find in the down bar so that it's easy for you to just like click it and go to it if you want to. Give this video a thumbs up for more kind of fashion-y style videos. I might man up someday and do a lookbook. Um, who knows? <laughs> we shall see. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more and I will see you in my next video. Bye!